Hello, YouTube. Um, I wanted to make a video about my new software for um, like image editing stuff, which is actually browser based because um, I was rather disappointed that I could not figure out how to reinstall uh, my Adobe stuff on my new computer. Um, I still have it on my old computer. So like if I were really desperate, I could keep doing that. But honestly, it's, it's too many hoops to jump through. I spent like several hours trying to figure out how to install the darn thing. Um, I can't find my disk, my installation disk. So I was trying to use the trial and trying to install the trial and then activate that. But Plus, I couldn't deactivate my old license, and you can only have it activated, like, a maximum number of times without deactivating. Anyway, point is, fucking headache. So, I went out looking for new software, and this one I found to be pretty promising. Um, so, I mean, I my test for it, honestly, was, can I still make sigils? And the answer turned out to be... Yes, actually, I can do pretty, pretty much the same kind of sigil work I was doing in my old software. So actually, let me not, uh, let me open from, it has like a little cloud storage thing. And I kind of just made myself a sigil template file to start out with more easily. But um I'll just I'll just do a quick test sigil just to show off the functionality. Um, I'm not I don't have any active commissions I want to do, so this one's just for for funsies. Um, so I actually had to find a new font because uh, the the Adobe font I was using before for Hebrew was looked kind of old school, like you know sort of book font, print font, whatever. But, so I had to find a replacement. But, oh man, that's so tiny. Uh, it's really hard to see what I'm typing. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to focus on this. Uh, is that, no. Okay. <laughs> So annoyingly, it starts out like really small font. So I gotta make that bigger. Uh, the sigil I'm gonna make right now is Ani Margishatov. I, I feel good because I've kind of been feeling, I don't know, down or unhappy lately. Um, it's the fucking winter blues. So you can actually use, there's like a ridiculously long list of web fonts which I'm pretty sure come from Google Fonts. But after some searching, uh, the one that I found that I prefer for Hebrew is Frank Rule. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, Libre. Um, this one kind of looks like close enough to the bookish font I, I wanted to use. I don't want like a super modern looking font because I don't know, like my aesthetic preference is for sigils to look kind of oldish, maybe. I mean, I'm making it with modern technology, but shh. Uh, so as I used to do in, in fireworks, uh, I would get my text and step one is to put it around the circle. And, and then I have another text layer for doing the inside part. So this is actually a good size the circle and you can see the letters seem to fit nicely so I'm gonna do what I used to do in fireworks which is convert to path um, and then I need to break the path apart or split path um, now I guess uh, I should hide these oh that's right I gave them fills uh, I should do that at the end I'm not, oh yeah, and you can still do fills and borders. It's just the interface is a bit different. But um, if I have a filled ellipse, it's going to be annoying. I'm not going to be able to just click inside. And dude, let me get rid of the fill. What the fuck? Dude. 
there we go. Okay, I want to be able to just click on the canvas and not <laughs> like accidentally trigger the the ellipses. So one difference from fireworks is that when you break apart the the sim I want to say symbol when you break apart the path the the hey letter is no longer one path it splits it up into its component parts which I guess technically makes sense but I want to keep them together so I'm going to create a compound shape and then convert to path so now it's like a compound path anyway that's a minor detail so actually before I, I start fucking with the letters I need to get a star so I can see where the positioning needs to be um if if anybody watched my my long ass sigil video which I understand if you didn't it was 50 minutes long because I'm a dumbass and I should have made it shorter um I need to count how many how many letters I've got so I've got three plus six plus three um so that's uh, 12 letters, so I'm going to need a 12-pointed star. So let's group these together and just make them go away real quick. Uh, one thing I really like about this app, Gravit, which I guess I didn't go into a whole lot of detail about it, but um, is that the groups over here show up as like a little drop-down, like you can toggle it, and it shows you the nesting of the groups. That's really slick. I love that feature. If you've got like a really deep nesting hierarchy of groups, you can actually like manipulate any level of the group like by itself. And you can hide individual parts of it. And it's just, it's very intuitive. I, it didn't take me long to get used to this. Okay. So anyway, let's, let's make the shape, shall we? So let's grab a, a star and this is very similar to fireworks. You can give it the number of points that you want. Okay, one thing that annoys me about this, however, is like you see how it the the top and the bottom are not like rotated in a way that makes sense. I have not yet figured out how to fix this aside from just like oh, whoa. <laughs> Hold on whoa okay that's not really relevant to what we're doing because i only care about the tips but you can do like cool stuff like fucking with the corners and if you combine these two you can get you can get real interesting you get like a little spoke thing anyway that's not <laughs> that's not relevant to what i'm trying to do here so one thing i need to do though is get this rotated Oh my goodness, this is, this is going to make me super annoyed that I can't, like, get a clean rotation of it. I'm going to have to do this loosey-goosey kind of, like, figure it out. Okay, I'm... That looks right to me, but I'm not super sure. This is going to vex me for the rest of this. I'm going to be like, did I do this right? <laughs> I think I did pretty well with the... I mean, yeah, I think I did fine. It It's... Nobody's going to notice, honestly, if I'm, if I did it, like, not perfectly. Um, but let's, let's get rid of this, uh, stupid. I want to get rid of the fill. Dude, let me select, how do I select it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> wow, I'm, like, doing this, whoops, that's the wrong one. I'm doing this a lot slower than I meant to. I thought I thought this would go faster, but I'm kind of I'm derping out a little bit. <laughs> so let's position our letters. 
I should have just picked an easier sigil. Why did I why did I do a 12 letter one? Maybe it's because I like really do want to feel better. <laughs> that one's even worse. I wanna f I want to feel good. It's like, no, this one's better. Uh it's present tense. That tends to tends to be play better with sigils. You don't wanna do like future tense stuff because uh something something like our subconscious doesn't understand future or negation, so you don't do like negative stuff and you don't do I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, let's keep doing this. Crank away at this. This is always like a matter of finesse. And then that's where the yod would go. I like that it still has like Comparing this to fireworks, it, it's got very similar workflows for a lot of stuff. Now, one thing I'll say is that the it's pretty lackluster if you want to edit bitmaps at all. Like, if you want to take a photo and fuck with it. I mean, obviously, that was never fireworks' strong suit in any way, but there's still a bit more you could do with that. This app has some limitations. But I actually did find another app that is better at that. And between the two apps, honestly, I've got pretty much all I want in an image editing software. Oh, goodness. Lena, don't get all fucking <laughs> obsessive about where the fuck the letters are placed. But, but I'm a perfectionist. Mm. I mean, that's, that's my mechanical keyboard. <laughs> I'm, like, mashing the arrow keys to move this around. <laughs> and, like, eyeballing it. And I'm like, is that right? No, that's not right. <sighs> I cannot make up my mind. And I'm also, like, you can't see this because I'm not taking video of, of me, but I'm also, <laughs> like, craning my head sideways to check that there's an equal amount of space on, on either side. Anyway, that's probably good enough. And then this. Now I'm starting to wonder that whether I did the star rotation correctly. <laughs> Those are bad thoughts to be having right now. I'm supposed to be positioning these, not overthinking things. And the finished product is not going to be real obvious anyway. Like, oh, anyway, anyway, I, <laughs> I'm trying to talk so that like it's not dead silence as I'm doing this, but I'm also like struggling mentally. I'm like really super tired. Did I already say that? Yeah, I already said I'm super tired. Um, and it's true. I mean, I am fucking tired of shit. And it's a Sunday, and I've got work tomorrow, and bleh. not pleased about that. <laughs> I mean, I'm pleased I have work, because not being employed is bad. Because then I wouldn't have a place to live, and food to eat, and spending money. But, alas, this is not a video to bitch about having work. That's its own thing. I fucked this one up now. I'm trying to have these aligned like horizontally with each other, but I also want this to stay aligned with its like either side of the thing. Alright. We're getting there. Honestly, this might be the most annoying part is placing them in the circle. Because the inner part is I mean, it either works out or it doesn't, and I don't have the patience to do three fucking retries like last time, so I'm just gonna... Whatever whatever happens, it will be fine for the purposes of demonstration. Uh, looks about right.
All right. Got one more letter and then we can do the. Oh, I like the, it's got, you see those uh, guiding lines? It, it shows you like the fact that it's aligned with the top, the bottom, and the middle. It's like a full proper alignment with another object on the canvas. I think that's a really nice feature. Oh, thank goodness. This shit's done. So let's just uh, drag this, drag this thing all the way to the bottom and make it invisible. And I guess for convenience's sake, let's just kind of group those together. Uh, I, I don't need to keep the star actually. Let's go away. And now we do the fun part, we do the inside. And we convert to path and split the path, duh, and then create compound. Whoa, nope, that's not what I want. Yeah, why are you making it invisible? Oh, whoops. I was selecting the underlying, uh, <laughs> the, the ellipses again, and I was like, fuck, I don't want to do that. Okay, so, like, it makes a compound shape, but they're still grouped together, so I just want to, like, convert to path. I don't want it to be able to be split. I mean, the letters, the Hebrew letters should not be split, in my opinion, like, they're their own integral units. Splitting is not an operation that I want to perform. All I do is just rearrange them to make pretty shapes. <laughs> um, so I guess I don't, I don't really feel like going into detail of like why I'm doing this in this video just because I already did that in the other video. And if you don't watch it, well, then fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, sigils are kind of a complex topic, and it's definitely beyond the scope of this video for me to try to explain it in its entirety, but it's basically supposed to be a way of capturing your intent in a pictorial form. So, like, you spell out a phrase or something. You pick a phrase that carries your intent and you're like this is the thing I need help with this is the thing I, I want to to work on to improve on and then you take the letters and you do some complex transformations and the the specific sort of transformation doesn't in my opinion matter as much as the fact that you're obscuring the original letters so that like you, you're not you're no longer looking at your message in its original form it's kind of been obfuscated and it's supposed to like work on a subconscious level and shit and that that starts to get beyond my pay grade because honestly I'm not quite that good at this stuff yet and mostly it's because of lack of practice and shit but at least I'm good at making them as an art project if nothing else. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I was supposed to like, sometimes I deduplicate the letters. Um, actually, I should do that. I don't know. The only duplicate letters are the yodes. I could just keep them. Whoops, I just accidentally resized that. <laughs> so like, I usually it may it makes sense to remove duplicate letters as part of your obfuscation process because well it just does take my word for it <laughs> where do i put these fucking yodes <sighs> that's like super lazy i'm just letting them dangle <laughs> let me just get rid of the Let's just deduplicate this bitch. 
All right, so we've got our little... The fuck? Oh, that was a graphical glitch. Um, we've got our letters mushed together, and obviously you can still kind of see the letters, but we're going to fix that by doing the whole let's multiply them and arrange them and make a pretty... Ooh, I kind of like this. That looks cool. This this thing down here. Um, this I'm being lazy and just doing my usual process. I don't feel like innovating right now. <laughs> the central piece is gonna turn out interestingly, I think. I'm supposed to keep explaining shit, but I'm like all busy trying to trying to make the shape. Oh man, I like that. I, I'm digging this. All right, so there there we go. This this is good enough for for this exercise. Oh man, that inner part looks really pretty. <laughs> This turned out pretty well, actually. I, I feel good about this. Oh, that's right. I was like, where's the outer shit? It's like, oh, I hit it. Duh. Totally forgot I did that. Let's group these together. Oh, also a side note. I'm, like, really impressed at how well Chrome handles this. This is a browser-based app. Like, how fucking crazy is that? I can use this from my Chromebook. Or a Linux machine. They're like it's it's cross platform because all it takes is a browser. That's super cool. Um, trying to position this inside the. Oh man, and the zoom in and zoom out is like slightly annoying because I can't get to, I can't do Control Plus Control Minus to get me to the fit my screen setting. Um, I have to do that manually. Yo, let me. Let me resize you. And it's still got the nice canvas snapping that I'm used to. Um, oh shit, that's too big. No. I need to shrink it. And I keep hiding the outer circle because the snapping gets really annoying if you're not, if you've got all the other shapes in play. Oh, it's still slightly too big. Let's make it a tiny bit smaller. Snap to the center. Whoops, wrong one. Oh, there we go. So, uh, yeah, there's there's a finished product. I um, feel pretty good about this. I do want to make these ellipses have a fill. And the reason I want that is because oh, it's nice it remembered the black. Because I want to um, make the the canvas color transparent. Just so that like, if I upload this on Discord, uh, it's gonna it's gonna look nice. It's not it'll be just the sigil like perfectly encased in its circles. Um, but yeah, I feel, I feel good about this. That turned out great. So I guess let's, I always name my files in Hebrew just cause like the sigil phrase, that's the file name. Ani Malgisha, whoops. Malgisha. Dog. I'm touch typing Hebrew on a fucking Latin keyboard, <laughs> like, but I've gotten pretty good at it. And you can see some of my other creations. Uh, some of these other creations didn't get the transparent background treatment, although I could fix that really easily. And if I want to like download this to my computer, then I can just do that, download it as a PNG. And fucking bam, Sigil made. Now, I could stop the video here and 
How long have I been going for? 25 minutes. Holy fuck. Um, oh, man. I I want to squeeze in a really quick, uh, like, side note, I guess, for the other image editor that I like, which, so oh, I should mention I paid money to, to have, like, the paid version of Gravit and also PhotoP. PhotoP doesn't need payment to have the full functionality, which is really nice. And apparently it's open source, which is always a plus in my book. But, um, oh, and it supports the GIMP format. Nice. But uh, I wanted to give them money because, A, ads suck, and I don't want to have ads. And, and B, like, it's a good product that I think deserves reimbursement. And it's only 40 bucks a year for this one. And for this one, I think it's 100 a year, but I got it. Like, they had a discount or something, so I got it for 50 a year, which, fucking, yeah, sign me up. That's a great deal. Um, so this one I kind of started using just for making emojis for Discord, which is kind of an inane reason, <laughs> honestly. But um, it's nice because it shows you the, I guess, let's, let's uh, <laughs> this dancing duck is going to be our test case. I'm going to copy that link and open from URL. Because I want to take off that, that stupid background on the duck. Holy shit, this has a lot of frames. I'm going to regret doing this. <laughs> so, I mean, my goal is to get this to have transparent background because I don't like black backgrounds. So we've got a magic wand tool. Um, I guess I should go through the tools real quick. It's got your usual, like, lasso and select and crop, and I have not tried these other two. I usually just go for magic wand, crop, slice. So th this one's kind of, like, more of a uh, bitmap editor than the other one. So I think they kind of complement each other nicely. It's got some of the Photoshop-type features, like spot healing and all that shit that I don't super care about. Just the rubber stamp, the clone tool, eraser... So, I mean, yeah, between these two apps, you've got, like, a much cheaper alternative to the fucking overpriced Adobe crap. Whoops. No, I don't want text. No. Eh. Shush. Oh, that's right. Okay, so you can uh, select stuff with the magic wand, and I'm going to give it... I tend to do tolerance of 50, just because... Oh, is that too much? Tolerance of 50 is too... Oh. I accidentally created the stupid text layer. Just delete that. There we go. So, so yeah. I, I need to do this to every single fucking layer. And it's kind of... This is not the best use of this app because it's so inane. Like... There's a lot more you can do with this, but the fact that it gives you the frames of an animated GIF like that as layers is really, really handy because you can just kind of crank crank through them and remove backgrounds and whatnot. Oh my god, this is going to take forever. Uh, I want to do it, though. I want the dancing duck, damn it. It's such a good emoji. Like... It's it's a lot of work to, for for just a fucking emoji, but I can get really persistent about this shit, honestly. <laughs> no, I had the lot the wrong selection. I have to keep like it does take a few clicks for this, so I gotta select the layer, unselect the the selection, make the make it visible. That's like three clicks. I should count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's a lot of clicks, but you can kind of like really get into a rhythm. Oh no. Oh, it's oh, okay. That's part of the duck. That's fine. I was confused for a second, but no, there's that bit of gray. This is not even a very good, like, 
3D duck, but it's got a funky dance that it's doing, and I am all for funky dances. So, yeah. You didn't think you'd get to watch me do something this stupid, right? It's like, oh, you know, like, this person's allegedly smart or something, and they're spending their time fucking with a duck. Not, like, literally fucking. I'm not a zoophile, but... <sighs> wow, okay, I just went into that territory. Uh, yeah, this is bad. I'm running my mouth while doing a repetitive activity, and that leads to me saying, like, all kinds of dumb shit because I'm just... My, I don't have a filter so much at the moment because I'm, I'm doing a manual task. And I, I feel like, I mean, I do have an ability to multitask to an extent, but <laughs> it's not perfect. Um, oh, no, I got to do the inside, too. Yeah, okay, so now I gotta do like extra steps for the between the legs. Okay, so like despite how annoying this is, this is gonna be such a sick emoji. And yeah, I should. Alright, honestly, I should pick a topic to talk about while I'm doing this, because otherwise I'm just gonna do really annoying rambling. I'm going to sound like I have ADHD, like, I'm just going to jump from topic to topic so that I don't have, like, a block of silence in my video, but, <laughs> okay, I don't know what to talk about, uh, okay, so I guess let's talk about Discord, like, I am very much a Discord native these days because I run an occult server, and I know I've mentioned this before in, like, previous videos, and I guess I could probably talk about the irritating person who's been harassing my server recently. Um, there's a lot of context to this, so it's a good thing to talk about for the next, I don't know, five minutes that I delete the black background from all these frames. So... There is this Discord server that is basically a cult, like a cult, not a cult, like the spelling is different, like, like the letter A space C-U-L-T, a cult, rather than a cult, O-C-C-U-L-T, which is like an adjective, which means hidden, right? So I run an occult server, but there is this just cult, like straight up cult. Um, called the Light Warriors Ascension, or, like, Fifth Dimension, some bullshit. It's, it sounds incredibly fluffy and New Age and shit, and usually that stuff is harmless, right? But here's the problem. Their leadership, the, the person who, who runs the server is, is named Perfect Storm X, which is already a cringy fucking name. Like, it's written perfect.storm.x, which, if anybody, I mean, if anybody, for those of you who are around, like, I don't know, late 90s, early 2000s, that was a hot naming scheme, like, having X's like that in your name. It's like, oh, that's so cool. It's, like, so, not edgy, but, like, it was it was always kind of a stupid thing, but it's especially out of place now in fucking 2019. So this guy, Perfect Storm X, apparently his name's Brandon, and apparently he has a fuck ton of money, and has like multiple. He's probably got like a hundred, over a hundred alt accounts on Discord for spamming invites to his stupid server in like so many places it's it's really just it's a nuisance for the occult community like this shit routinely spams people's dm inboxes but so yeah the guy's like fucking loaded because he has paid vpns to get around uh being banned from places uh because discord bans by ip address and that's not a perfect measure but 
it's pretty good and it tends to work a lot of the time. So somebody like him is going to try to evade that. So he's got paid VPN access. And apparently he has at least seven Discord accounts that are like premium. So Discord has this premium tier called Nitro, Discord Nitro, um, which lets you do certain things like uh, use animated emojis, which I have Nitro on my account, actually. But he he got seven accounts with Nitro, which is like 50 bucks a year or something. Uh, and the reason he did it is so that he can do this thing called boosting to his server. Uh, it's, it's a new feature Discord introduced uh, some time ago that basically gives the server extra features. So it's like, if if you get X number of people to boost your server, you get more emoji slots and you get better audio quality for voice chats and stuff like that. So he got seven different paid accounts to boost his stupid Light Warriors Ascension crap server. Um, so, so there's that. Okay, so he's got all these accounts and and he does all this bot spamming and shit and that would be annoying by itself but he's also an incredibly toxic individual and i still haven't finished talking about the context to get to the actual story so there's this chick named cassandra who lives in like quebec city canada and she has been in an on and off relationship with with this guy brandon or perfect storm and uh, toxic people always tend to end up with each other, which, yeah, that's a thing. Not always, but sometimes. So Cassie is invited to my server to share evidence of the Light Warriors being shitheads. And I didn't do the invitation, mind you. Somebody else, like, was, was like, I guess thought it was a good idea and... I kind of just rolled with it because it. I find this topic entertaining sometimes uh, just because, like, the Light Warriors are so fucking dumb. And I should probably insert a note here that Light Warriors is the cult. Light Workers is a legit thing with, like, I guess, a cult or spiritual workers who, like, do healing type stuff and just help people. That's fine. Light working is fine. Light warriors are not fine. Like their leadership harasses people and they make immature photoshops of of people and they <laughs> they are just incredibly shitty. And the thing is their server has like over a thousand people in it because people got suckered into it by the by the, all the DM spam, right? Because the server paints itself as, like, all love and light and stuff, and it's all, like, new agey bullshit, and that's kind of popular nowadays, so <laughs> they got a lot of members, but allegedly they also have a lot of uh, inactive members and alt accounts and stuff, so maybe they don't have as many members as it looks like they do, but anyway, so back to Cassie, right? Cassie is invited to my server to share evidence. I didn't invite her, but I was like, sure, why not? Like, if you want, you can share stuff. And she did. And then she was like, oh, you know, like, the Light Warriors have alt accounts spying on your server. And she was like, let's, uh, let's weed them out. And I was like, all right, sure, I guess. And then she starts using this bot to, like, do a who is lookup on every, just sequentially going through all my server members. And that, that got into a mess real quick uh, because people were, like, spooked by it. Like, who the fuck is this person? Why are they pinging me? Why are they looking up my my account information? And it's just basic stuff, like, when the account was created, previous nicknames, and uh, when the account joined the server. So it's not, like, super, like, intense personal info, but still, it was kind of unsettling to have that happen. So like I kind of panicked and kicked her from the server for that. But I, I think if I remember correctly, I let her back in 
for a bit after that and i was like but but she she also did like kind of shitty behavior like she argued with the mods saying that like the word retard isn't a slur um it honestly the situation could have been handled better but um i ended up banning her for moderation reasons and we felt justified at the time and everything and we thought that was that was that but she came back and has been harassing my server for the past month so yeah i would i would have I would have maybe handled the situation differently if I had known that it was going to turn into this stupid shit show. Oh my god, this was so worth it. Look at how fucking dank this duck looks. <laughs> oh, I'm too I'm too excited by this. It's it's ridiculous. This duck is doing such a funky dance. Uh, you know, I need to try to like crop the canvas a little because can I select all the layers and make them visible can I do that I want to make them all visible just so that I can figure out where it's safe to crop. It's going to look super weird having all of them, all of them turned on. Oh, hold on. Can I do that? No, darn it. There's got to be a way to make all of them toggle all the visibilities and stuff, but I don't feel like figuring that out right now. So anyway, yeah, Cassie has been harassing my server and she's got alt accounts and was threatening to curse people and we've just been whack-a-mole banning her shit ever since. And the plot thickens because apparently the more recent harassment is Perfect Storm's Goonies. Because uh, as I mentioned before, they have an on and off relationship. So, and like, she's a pitiful, pathetic human being. She's like, disabled and just doesn't have a life now obviously there's nothing wrong with being disabled my fiance is disabled but that doesn't give you free license to be an asshole to people on the internet so that's that's why i have beef with her not because she's disabled but anyway she doesn't know when to fucking stop but also perfect storm goonies have been make somebody made a really crude photoshop of my face with like fucking scatological shit just like a poop dick like literally a, a penis that looks like it's made of poop or it's covered in poop or something it's really gross and there's also like an, in the background there's like a poorly cropped and like scaled picture of an old man masturbating it's really nasty trust me you don't want to see this but I didn't actually get offended because it was just so poorly done. It like looks like something a middle schooler would do. It's so petty and childish and just I would have been more offended if it had been a professionally done Photoshop job because then it's like somebody with actual skills went to the trouble to make me look bad. It's like, dude. Oh my god, this looks so trippy. This duck superposition of everywhere the duck has been. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so I want to crop the canvas. I'm going to do bottom left attachment. And I want to make the height smaller. Can I? Yes. Perfect. Now it's square. And square is the, the best possible, um, like, for, for Discord, emojis are supposed to be square. That way you get the, the benefit of it looking as good as possible basically okay let's try this again doc is still doing the funky dance um and this is where i need to shrink this because uh discord only accepts up to 256 kilobyte size images and this is way over that so let's uh let's try to cut that size down 
Oh, that's definitely better. Let's do 100. 100 is still pretty good. Oh, nice. Yeah, there we go. 250. Perfect. So we got that going. And... Wow. Okay. Another 50 minute long video. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, um, that's what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to review Gravit Designer and Photo P and they're both pretty, pretty solid and I look forward to getting to use them more. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to abruptly end this video and, oh, it's a trippy hall of mirrors effect. Anyway, thank you for listening. My voice probably sounds like shit because I have not been doing a lot, a lot of voice practice. So anyway, thank you and good night.